a very good morning to all of you this is your mathematics class of grade 8 chapter 8 comparing quantities and this is my lecture number 8 let us see today's key points what we will be learning in this lecture we will first of all learn the application of compound interest in the previous lectures we have studied the concept of compound interest now in this lecture 8 we will study about the application of compound interest then i will be discussing the homework solutions of previous lecture that is lecture number 7 let us learn now the application of compound interest the very first application or where we can use compound interest or the concept of compound interest is growth we know that certain things grow or we can say they increase for example india's population we know that india's population is increasing height of a plant keeps on increasing continuously weight of a child increases cost of the goods also increases so the application of compound interest we are studying about the growth application we see certain things grow or they increase that is india's population we have seen the example india's population height of a plant also increases when we take good care of that plant weight of a child also in keeps on increasing and likewise we have another example that is cost of goods also increases so the growth per year is called rate of growth if we are talking about the growth of certain thing or a certain commodity certain thing you can say then if we are talking about the growth per year then that is called rate of growth by what rate that particular thing or particular uh, item is particular thing is better uh, is a better word by what rate a particular thing is increasing so that is given by if you are talking about the growth per year that uh, then that is rate of growth if this rate of growth is constant then v is equal to v not into 1 plus r over 100 raised to the power n then if we are supposed to find out the rate of growth or then we need to use this formula v is equal to v not bracket 1 plus r over 100 raised to the power n or you can use this formula also we have used this formula for compound interest you can write this formula in terms of amount and principal or you can use v and v not also so let us see what is this v v not r and n we know amount and principal we also know so let us see where v and v not this v not or p this v not or p is the pre present measure of a quantity where the uh, in this formula if we talk about first for first one v not or in the second formula if you talk about p they both are at the same place and they both represent the present measure of the quantity either of the formula you can use if we want to note down or you uh, if uh, we need to find the rate of growth and if it is constant then we need to use either the formula v is equal to v not bracket 1 plus r over 100 raised to the power n or amount is equal to principal bracket 1 plus r over 100 raised to the power n where v not or p which are at the same place so they both of them represent the present measure present measure of a quantity r percent what does it represent rate of growth per year n is the number of years and v or a both are at the same place and they represent the measure of the quantity after n years so we have seen the very first application of grow, uh, compound interest basically we will talk about this is uh, the main application that is growth and depreciation first of all we are talking about the growth we know that certain things grow or they increase in size so for example we have seen the example of the certain things which keep on increasing like we have talked about india's population then height of a plant weight of a child and cost of goods 
then we have talked about the rate of growth if the growth per year is uh, we need to measure then this growth per year is called rate of growth and this rate of growth if it is constant then it is given by the formula v is equal to v not bracket 1 plus r over 100 raised to the power n or you can write this same formula in terms of amount principle rate and n are same in both the formulas so it will not make any difference for those so where v naught or p represents the present present measure of the quantity r percent represents the rate of growth per year n is the number of years and v or a is the measure of the quantity after n years Now, as I told you that growth and depreciation is the application of compound interest. Firstly, we have talked about growth. Now, let us see what is depreciation. The value of a machine or vehicle, etc. decreases with time due to wear and tear. So, what do you mean by depreciation? If the value of a machine or a vehicle decreases with time due to wear or and tear, then this is your depreciation and the decrease of the value per year is called rate of depreciation. We have talked about the rate of growth. What was that? The growth per year is called rate of growth. Now as it is a case of depreciation, so we are talking about the decrease in value. Firstly, we have understood what is this depreciation. If the value of a machine or a vehicle decreases, depreciation itself tells us that decrease. So if it is decreases with time due to wear and tear and if we are talking about the decrease of the value per year, then that is rate of depreciation. If the rate of depreciation is constant, then it will be given by this formula. V is equal to V naught bracket 1 minus R over 100 raised to the power N. Here we have taken this negative sign because we are talking about the depreciation that is the decrease in the value of a particular machine or a vehicle after so many years. If you are trying to uh, sell that particular machine or vehicle obviously you will be getting a less amount as compared to the amount for which you have already uh, for which you have already paid while purchasing that so here we are talking about the depreciation so minus sign will be there in the formula or it can be you can use this formula amount is equal to principal bracket 1 minus r over 100 raised to the power n here you can write down capital r also in place of small r here i have written small r you can write capital r also so where v not or p is the present value of the machine r percent is the rate of depreciation n is the number of years and v or a is the value after n years and let us talk about the lifespan this is the another term in this application of compound interest the number of years a machine can be effectively used is called its life span after which it is being sold or as a waste or scrap so the number of years a machine can be effectively used is called its lifespan after which it is sold as waste or scrap this everything i think uh, this is the word which everyone i think knows very well because after using a particular machine for certain years we always think that now it is the time to sell that particular machine so the number of years a machine can be effectively used is called its lifespan coming to homework part homework your homework is from ncrt book you are supposed to complete question number 10 and question number 11 of exercise 8.3 in your homework notebook dear children these two questions are totally based on the concept of growth and depreciation which we have discussed in the previous slide of this lecture number eight now coming to the homework solutions of exercise 8.3 from ncrt book i gave you the questions uh, from exercise 8.3 ncrt book that is from question number four to question number nine let us discuss them now Question number 4 says, I borrowed rupees 12,000 from Jamshed at 6% per annum simple interest. Principal is given to you as 12,000 rupees. 
6% per annum is the rate of interest. The important point here to note is that interest is being calculated in on the basis of simple interest and time given to you is 2 years. Had I borrowed this money, the principal is same at extra 6% uh, per annum compound interest, then what extra amount would I have to pay? So actually the person has borrowed or here the person indicated is I, that is I borrowed rupees 12,000 from Jamshed at 6% per annum simple interest for two years. If this money, this amount would have been borrowed at 6% per annum compound interest, what extra amount would I have to pay? This is, your, this is what you are supposed to find out. Now let us see the solution. Simple interest we are supposed to find out. Simple interest to be paid for 2 years at 6% per annum. So principal here is 12,000 rupees. N time is 2 years. Rate of interest is 6% per annum. And we need to find the simple interest first. So that then only we will be able to compare. We will find simple interest as well as compound interest. Then I will come to know what then we will come to know what extra amount would I have to pay. So simple interest case we are taking first. Principal is 12,000 rupees. Time is 2 years. Rate of interest is 6% per annum. Now we know the formula for SI that is simple interest P into R into T divided by 100. So this is your principal. This is your rate that is 6% per annum and time is 2 years. So putting the values in the formula you will be getting 1440. This is your simple interest for 2 years. Now compound interest is to be paid for 2 years on the same principle. So principle is 12,000. Rate is 6% per annum. Time is 2 years. But here we are supposed to calculate the compound interest. So we know the formula of compound interest. This is amount is equal to principal into 1 plus R over 100 raised to the power n. This is the formula we know. So after solving the bracket you will be getting 100 plus 6 over 100 raised to the power 2. Then 100 over 100, 106 over 100 into 106 over 100 will be written 2 times because the power or the time is given to you as 2 years. So uh, after multiplication of 106 into 106 you will be getting 11,236 this will be your uh, you will be getting after multiplication of 106 and 106 that is 106 square will be 11,236 then after solving you will be getting the amount as 13,483.20 this is your amount but we need to calculate the compound interest so compound interest is given by the formula amount minus principal Putting the value of amount and principal, this is your amount, 13,483.20. This is your principal. So after solving, you will be getting 1,483.20. This is your compound interest. Now we need to find out what extra do I need to pay. So simple interest we have calculated, compound interest we have calculated. We need to take their difference. So taking their difference, it will be 1,483, this is your compound interest. 1,440, this is your simple interest. So it will be 43 decimal 20. So 43 rupees decimal 20 will be the extra amount to be paid as compared to when we will be comparing compound interest and simple interest. Now coming to question number 5. Vasudevan invested rupees 60,000 at an interest rate of 12% per annum compounded half yearly. This is the case of compounded when the interest is being compounded half yearly. What amount would he get after 6 months and after 1 year? There are two parts in this question but the point here to note is that we need to find the compound interest when the interest is being compounded half yearly. So let us see first part. Here in this case the principal is rupees 60,000. Rate is 12% per annum. 
time given to you we are taking first part so time is 6 months and we know children that if it is a case of half yearly then rate is to be divided by 2 we have done this 12 by 2 that will give you 6% time here it is given to you in months first of all we have converted into years and then it should be multiplied by 2 it will be one year after solving so rate is to be divided by 2 time is to be multiplied by 2 so rate here will be 6% and time will be one year putting the values in the formula amount is equal to principal into 1 plus r over 100 raised to the power n principal is 6 60000 rupees amount uh, principal is 60000 bracket 1 plus r rate of interest is 6% because it is it was being compounded half yearly and time we have calculated as one year so solving the bracket it will be 60000 into 100 plus 6 over 100 after taking the lcm raised to the power 1 so it will be 60000 into 106 over 100 that will give you 63600 this is your amount let us see now second part here in this case principal is 60000 rupees rate is 12% per annum time here is 1 year so rate as it is interest is being compounded half yearly so the rate is to be divided by 2 we have divided by 2 that will be 6% time is to be multiplied by 2 so we have done it 2 years time will be now 2 years putting the values in the formula you will be getting 60000 into 1 plus r over 100 r is 6% raised to the power 2 time here is 2 so solving it Uh, so it will be 60000 into 100 plus 6 over 100 after taking the lcm inside the bracket it will uh, raise to the power 2 so 60000 into 106 over 100 into 106 over 100 because the time was 2 years so it will be written twice so after multiplying 106 or taking the square of 106 you will be getting 11236 over 100 in 200 it will be So after solving, you will be getting the amount as sixty-seven thousand four hundred and sixteen. So coming to question number six, it is Arif to, took a loan of rupees eighty thousand from a bank. If the rate of interest is ten percent per annum, find the difference in amounts he would be paying after one and a half years if the interest is compounded annually. This is the first part. Here in this question, principal is given to you as eighty thousand. Rate of interest is ten percent per annum. We need to we need to find the difference in amounts he would be paying after one and a half years if the interest is being compounded annually, and interest is being compounded half yearly. So in these two parts again, first part we need to find the interest amount when the interest is being compounded annually, and in the second part uh, part also interest is being calculated uh, amount is being calculated. but the interest is being compounded half yearly so let us see first part principal is 80000 n is given to you as one and a half years rate of interest is 10% per annum as uh, it is the case of compound interest being compounded annually and i told you that if time is given to you like this that one and a half years two and a half years then first of all you need to calculate the amount for one year and then that particular amount will be the principal for next half year and then you are supposed to add those two interest interest you, uh, which you will be calculating using a simple interest formula and the amount likewise i will be showing you so we are using the formula amount is equal to principal into 1 plus r over 100 raised to the power n this formula we know putting the values as i told you we are taking here n is equal to 1 rate of interest is 10% so 10 over 100 so and the principal is 80000 so after solving the bracket it will be uh, 100 plus 10 over 100 raised to the power 1 into 80000 so uh, 80000 into 110 over 100 it will give you 88000 now this amount will be the principal for next half year let us see so principal of half year will be 88000 so 
simple interest formula we are using now 88000 into p into r is 10% into 1 by 2 1 by 2 is the time into 100 p into r into t over 100 so 440 into 10 into 1 it will be you will be getting 4000 and 400 so amount after one and a half years will be we are adding the previous amount for one year we have calculated using compound interest formula and this interest or this amount basically because we have used the pre amount of the previous year as the principal for the next year so it will be 92,400 in total now coming to second part principal here is 80,000 rate of interest is 10% per annum time here is one and a half years but the interest is being compounded half yearly and for half yearly we know that we need to divide rate by 2 that will be 5% time is to be multiplied by 2 so we have solved it first of all it will be 3 by 2 years then it will be multiplied by 2 it will be 3 half years so putting the values of principal rate and time in the compound interest formula this is the formula amount is equal to principal into 1 plus r over 100 raised to the power so putting the values 80,000 into 1 plus 5 over 100 raised to the power 3 so after, uh, when we will be solving the bracket 100 plus 5 over 100 raised to the power 3 it will be so 80,000 into 105 over 100 into 105 over 100 into 105 over 100 3 times because time is 3 years so it will be after solving you will be getting 92,610 difference between the amounts we need to calculate this was the amount when the interest is being compounded half yearly this was the amount when the interest is being compounded annually so 210 rupees it is the dis de, uh, difference between the two amounts in two different cases when the interest is being compounded annually and when the interest is being compounded half yearly so here comes question number seven it says maria invested rupees 8000 in a business she would be paid interest at 5 percent per annum compounded annually and you need to find the amount credited against her name at the end of the second year and the interest for the third year now coming to the solution part here the principal is 8000 rupees rate is 5 percent per annum n is equal to two years we need to find the amount first in the first part so amount formula we know that amount is equal to principal bracket 1 plus r over 100 raised to the power n putting the values it will be 8000 bracket 1 plus 5 over 100 raised to the power 2 then it will be 8000 into 100 plus 5 over 100 raised to the power 2 we have solved the bracket here in this step then 105 over 100 will be written twice because it n was two years n is two years in this case and it will be further multiplied to 80000 so it will be you can cancel out 105 over 100 it will be 21 over 20 into 21 over 20 into 80000 so after solving you will be getting 8820 as your amount so the amount credited at the end of the second year is 8820 this is what we are supposed to find out now second part was we need to find the interest at the end of third year so let us see now second part of the same question as we know dear children that in the case of compound interest the amount of the previous year will be the principal for the next year this is what we have done here in this question also so we are supposed to find the interest for the third year so what we have done we have taken the amount of the previous year as the principal for the third year so that is 8820 so using compound interest formula we will be putting the values in the formula that will be p into r into t t here we are taking one year because we need to find the interest for third year only so we have taken n as one year so after 
uh, solving you will be getting it will be 441 this will be the answer after solving you will be getting 441 so the amount credited at the end of the second year so let us see what will be the amount it will be 8820 this was our first part and the interest for the third year is 441 this is your answer so i hope all these both the parts are clear to you in the first part we have used compound interest formula and in this part as we are supposed to find the interest for the third year so what we have done we have taken the amount of the previous year that is second year as the principal for this year and then calculated the interest simple as this so coming to question number eight find the amount and compound interest on 10,000 rupees for one and a half years at 10% per annum compounded half yearly. These types of questions we are we have already done. So let us see how we will be doing in this question again. Would this interest be more than the interest he would be he would get if it was compounded annually? So dear children, in this question also we need to find the amount and compound interest when the interest is being compounded half yearly and when it is being compounded annually and then we need to compare the two so let us take first case principal is 10000 rate is 10 percent per annum time is one and a half years since the interest is compounded half yearly we are taking the first the case of half yearly then as we know that we need to divide the rate by two so 10% was the interest rate of interest so it should be divided by 2 so you will be getting 5% as the rate of interest now n is given to you as one and a half years so it will be 3 by 2 into 2 so total it will be 3 half years so rate of interest will be 5% time will be 3 half years and principal is rupees 10,000 so putting the values here in the formula it will be amount is equal to principal into 1 plus r over 100 raised to the power n so putting the values 10,000 bracket 1 plus 5 over 100 raised to the power n that is 3 so after solving the bracket in the bracket you will be getting 100 plus 5 over 100 raised to the power 3 then this factor will be written three times because the power is 3 and you will be getting after solving 105 over 100 after cancelling out you will be getting 10,000 into 21 over 20 three times you will be writing it into 21 over 20 into 21 over 20 so after solving you will be getting 11,576 decimal 25 or 0.25 so this is the amount in the first case we have calculated we need to find the compound interest also so it will be the formula we know that amount minus principal will give you the compound interest so this is the amount we have calculated this is 11576 decimal 25 minus 10000 we are supposed to subtract these two then you will be getting 1576.25 this will be your compound interest now if the interest is compounded annually how we will proceed when the interest is compounded annually principal is 10000 time is one and a half years rate is 10 percent so we know the formula we need to first of all as the time is one and a half years we need to find the amount of for one year and then using the simple interest formula we need to take the amount of this one year as the principal for the half years this is the case we are doing we are doing this type this method when the time is given to you as one and a half years two and a half years and when it is compounded annually so putting the values it will be 10,000 into 1 plus 10 over 100 raised to the power 1 so it will be simple as this you can solve the bracket and then it will be 10,000 into 110 over 100 so the amount will be 11,000 rupees now this will this amount will be the principal for the next year next half year so the principal for half year it will be 11,000 so using simple interest formula putting the values in the formula P 
into R is 10% into T. T here is 1 over 2 into 100. So you will be getting 1100 over 2 is equal to 550. So the amount after one and a half years we need to add these two 11,000 plus rupees 550. It will give you 11,550 as the amount. We need to calculate the interest. So uh, compound interest. So it will be amount minus principal. 11,550 minus 10,000. You will be getting 1,550 as the compound interest in this question. In this second part. When the interest is being compounded annually. Now the difference between the two interests we need to find. When the interest is being compounded half yearly, it is 1576.25 and when the interest is being compounded annually, this was the interest 1550. Subtracting these two, you will be getting 26.25. This will be the difference between the two interests as it was the requirement of this question. So the interest will be 26.25 more than more when the in, com, when compounded half yearly than the interest when compounded annually. This was the question. So coming to question number 9. We need to find the amount when Ram will get on rupees 4096 if he gave it for 18 months at 12% 12 1 by 2% per annum interest being compounded half yearly. Again this is the question of half yearly. So let us see. Principal is given to us as 4096. Rate is 12%, 12 1 by 2 percent per annum. Time is 18 months. Since the interest is being compounded half yearly, we need to divide the rate by 2. So, first of all, we have written it. It will be 25 over 2 into 1 over 2. That will give you 25 over 4 percent. And the time is 18 months. First of all, we have converted into years. 18 over 12. We need to divide into 2 by 2 because the time we need to find the interest when it is compounded half yearly. So it will be 3 by 2 into 2. That will be 3 half years. So this is the formula we know. Putting the values in this formula. Principal is 4096. Rate is 25 over 4 after being divided by 2. And time is 3 half years. It will be 1 plus 25 over 400 raised to the power 3. So, so you will be solving the bracket. You will be getting 400 plus 25 over 400 raised to the power 3. And then 4096 into 425 over 100 will be written thrice. Three times because the power is 3. The time is 3 years. 3 half years. So after cancelling out you will be writing you can write them as 17 over 16 or you can directly multiply also. So you will be getting the amount as 4913. So the required amount is 4913. Thank you so much dear children.